Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress Tutorial. My name is Bert Knox, uh, Mr. Bert Knox if you're feeling formal, and we're getting started on the second phase of our fort, uh, fort building process, which is going to be workshops, living areas, uh, kitchens, and uh, stockpiles. And um, I want to start off by apologizing. <laughs> uh, the first video ran pretty long. Uh, I didn't mean to do an hour, but YouTube let me update it that long. So we're going to probably keep the same format. Because uh, there's a lot. You, once you sit down and play Dwarf Fortress, you can kill a lot of uh, hours with it uh, when you're not paying attention. It's, uh, it's one of those games where you sit down at 6 in the evening and then it's 6 in the morning <laughs> kind of game. And another thing I want to apologize, I didn't really explain uh, the building I was building out here too well as far as how the floor works. Um, hit the K button here to kind of, so we can see individual items here. I finished off closing the wall here, so it's enclosed. But if I move up a level using the uh, less than sign, you can see a wall, a fort you build, or like a wall that you build, uh, will generally have automatically create a floor and that counts as like a ceiling almost so what I did is I built a ramp up here and then I filled it in with a floor because you can't really build ceilings you have to build floors to make ceilings and that prevents any flying monsters um, or flying animals or any dangerous thing that can fly to path into the fortress using this well that we built outside all right, so let's get started. Oh, uh, one thing I, I didn't, f uh, I said I was going to let him finish building the rest of the fort. Um, something happened uh, in the process uh, that made me stop, uh, and I saved it so we can talk about it. Um, it doesn't show on the menu, but it, it would actually say some mi migrants arrived at the bottom of the screen since I saved and restarted. But I can see my recent messages by hitting the A key. Oops, hold on. I'm in K mode, so hit the escape key. Hit the A button. A button gives you history messages of things that have happened, like, you know, it struck Sard, it started raining, you've been attacked, you've been ambushed, whatever. It'll be listed here. So my last event where I saved it was some migrants arrived. Um, I'm going to Z to zoom to location, and I think there's a migrant. Um, I'm hit the U button to actually see if how many. Oh, hit the escape because you hit U, and we have one migrant. Um, what is he? Where is he? Yeah, I think he's just a peasant. Actually, he turned out to be a peasant. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just a peasant. Um, generally, you get waves of more migrants, and this can be beneficial and detrimental at the same time because you've got more mouths to feed. Um, I'm going to investigate this guy really quick since I'm talking about it. Sometimes you want to pay attention to the migrants that you get. Uh, I'm going to scroll over him and hit enter and just look at him. He looks fairly normal. Um, there's these characters that show up every now and then that are, that are actually vampires and they are secret door or they're dwarves that are secretly vampires and they kill uh, people randomly when they sleep uh, usually you can tell them by their strange history they've got a lot of uh, gods worship they have a lot of family members and they something's peculiar about them you can kind of tell by looking at that sometimes they're harder than the others I've heard some vampires are hard to tell by looking at their um, history so let me get started in the meat of things here. Um, we already got some space built out and I'm going to build some workshops since we got some spaces. Now you have to be kind of careful when you're building workshops because sometimes you block yourself out uh, especially if you got like a closed in area. Most of the time it's fine but sometimes you have to debuild or deconstruct a workshop and reconstruct it if you kind of mess up. Alright to build workshops you hit B to build W to do workshop and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a carpenter's workshop and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to use shell to make it and 
next thing I'm going to do is build a mason's workshop so we can get some tables and chairs. You can actually make tables and chairs with the carpenters, but then you're kind of wasting wood when you're a dwarf and you can use stone to make things. So given the option, always make make items made of stone instead of wood. Um, shell, all right. So once we do that, and I hit escape to back out of the build menu twice, hit space to resume, I believe the doors will the let me hit the U. Hit the U to see see what the dwarves are doing. Uh, yeah, both the carpenter and mason have gone, and they're going to go build these buildings uh, right now. Actually, while well, I'm thinking, I'm going to remove the stockpile of stone over here. I'm going to do P and hit X to remove designation. Oops. P and then X. Extra move designation. Click on one end. Click on the other. Can't really tell, but if I hit Q and try to go over there, there's no building in it anymore. And I am going to do the same thing with my wood stockpile because I like my things inside. So I hit P, extra move. And there we go. And I'm going to make some stone stockpiles inside. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to hit... Uh, we're already in the P menu for the the um, stockpile. So I'm going to hit S for stone. Select that. And we got a stone stockpile. What was I doing down here? I can't remember if I was making a separate wood. That's kind of like a really big thing for wood, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hit W for wood. Select one place, place enter. Select the other end, press enter. And there we go. And oh, one more thing I'm going to do is build the trade depot while I'm thinking about it. Because in case we get what, what season it is. To tell what season it is, hit the Z key. Z key gives you the name of the outpost, outpost A thing, and the nickname Ringburn. And it's got the 19th of Malachite, which every month is named after stone. Uh, and that's how the dwarves have their months. I really don't pay attention to that. I pay attention to the season. So it's midsummer. Um, actually, I don't think we have to worry about caravans. Um, the first year except for the dwarf caravans there's no human or elf care el no elf caravans in the spring and no d humans in the summer just a dwarf in the fall which we need actually come to think of it we need to get started on actually making stuff uh, f for the um, caravan otherwise we don't have anything to trade so let's go ahead and get that set up first I'm gonna hit uh, B as in boy to do a building Trade Depot is on T as in... Is that T as in Tom? No, that's Traps. D as in... Da oh, back up. Capital D as in David. Place that there. We're going to use Shell, so I'm going to just leave it on default. Hit Enter a couple times. And I'm also going to construct a craft dwarf shop which is B for boy build and W for workshop and where is my craft dwarf shop oh where is it where is it? right in front of me craft dwarf shop is R I think but I use the uh, I use the plus and minus sign to scroll through that menu and to select it. So I'll place it there. We'll use shell for the construction material. You can always use wood if you really wanted to, but again, wood's more of a limited resource, so it's always best to use what you got, which is stone. And I'm gonna hit the space to resume, and we're gonna let it run for a bit. And there they go. Where's where's my miners? Are they? I'm gonna hit you. Oh, they were ones on break. Sometimes they, uh, the lazy dwarves 
depending on their um, their uh, characteristics and their profile some will like to take breaks a lot and some will dig uh, one's still digging though and he's gonna dig down there so alright while we're at, while we're at this um, actually I'm at the U button are they still some masons oh he's a stone worker um are they going to be looks like they're not going to build the buildings they're going to be hauling stockpile which is kind of annoying I'm hit the U I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something really shitty quick here so I hit the U button and I'm going to go to Carpenter and I'm going to hit the C as in Charlie and P as in Paul I think I've showed you this before and then the L's in labor I'm going to hit the minus sign and go down to hauling I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off his hauling I need I want him to actually do stuff instead of haul stuff around so I'm going to hit the escape key by default he's got his word working turned on so I'm going to hit the escape key then I'm going to do the same thing for you and I'm going to go to the Mason, hit C as in Charlie to select that character. And sometimes this is weird. It'll go st if I was in that mode on another dwarf, it'll remain on the mode in the second dwarf. So I'm going to turn off his hauling. And there we go. I was hoping for more migrants so we'd have more haulers versus uh, doers. But you got to roll the punches. And they're still hauling everything. Let me hit the U button, see what's going on. Uh, they will now. One thing they'll do is they'll haul some. If if you change their job preferences, they'll keep hauling what they're hauling until they deliver it, and then they'll switch modes, which I believe the carpenter did. But now he's going to t go take a drink, <laughs> lazy bastard. And um, we'll have to wait for him to finish drinking. He's over here in the the yellow uh, or not yellow, but the blue arrow pointing down. Brown arrow pointing down means hunger. He's uh, finished drinking and he's no, he's not finished drinking. I don't know where is he. I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, it'll take him a moment. Was he grabbing wood to do something? Not somebody else. Uh, they seem sure hell bent on hauling wood. And drinking liquor. What is the other? He's still on break. Yeah. Anyways, and two doors are sleeping, so I don't know. Wait a minute, Mason. He's got no job. Did he actually build the? Yeah, he actually built the masonry thing. So let's go ahead and. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and build a legendary dining hall. That, that's kind of important. Well, we'll mess with it in a little bit. Uh, once we've got more dwarves to engrave. Um, I'll talk about legendary dining halls later, but for right now I'm gonna build a basic dining hall. So we're going to hit add and we're going to make I'm using let me get back there. Hit uh, let me explain how actually I was doing that so you know how to get to there. I had the Q button. Q button activates the buildings. So I used the Q button and I went to the Mason's workshop and then I hit the add button which is letter A. Add new task. So hopefully that'll explain how I got in that menu without just I just whizzed right in there without telling you. So let's go ahead and do I'm using the minus and plus keys to go up and down here. We want let's just do a table. And we'll do I'm hitting the enter key and then add again. And then it usually will default to the last place you had it. So I can just hit A and enter to quickly create five tables. Now I'm gonna make some seats by hitting A, using the minus sign to go up. I can use the um, letter key, but for whatever using the letter key doesn't remember which last letter you used. Um, 
so I just use the plus and minus usually a lot. We want to make thrones, which are the equivalent of chairs. And I'm blind today. Hold on. There it is, right there in front of me. At the enter key, press A, enter, A, enter, A, enter, A, enter. And that mason will start constructing some tables and chairs. Over time, I remember I said that at the beginning, the dwarves, you can kind of let them be, sleep outside, eat out of the, the, the wheel, or the, uh, the, um, the, uh, uh, the actual wagon outside. Uh, over time, they get kind of bad moods or they have bad thoughts, as they're called, or unhappy th thoughts. And eventually, if you have too many unhappy thoughts, they go berserk and kill each other, <laughs> throw tantrums, and then your everyone basically dies uh, over time because they they have what they call tantrum spirals, where everybody gets so angry that nothing gets done. Everybody's starving to death. Everybody's punching each other in the face, and that's the end of the fort. Uh, you can always reclaim it, but it's takes time. All right. So you can see my mason is down there building items. And to actually see what's in the workshop, hit the T as in Tom. And you can see that in this workshop it has shell ta uh, tables already. Unfortunately, you'd need to put those on stockpiles. Otherwise, you get... Um, how would you say uh, it, it, it clutters up the workshop and it slows down the constructions alright um, we have a craft store shop made so I'm going to go ahead and create a stockpile for good special finished goods. I'm going to hit the P button P is in Paul I'm going to go over here in the stockpile and I'm hit G for finished goods Oops. P for Paul G for finished goods I'm going to select here, and I'm going to scroll down all the way to this corner. And I like to build this in the corner of right next to the trade depot so they don't have far to go for their finished goods. Um, before they start putting stuff into that finished goods stockpile, I'm going to hit the Q button. And this is something you don't have to do, but I recommend it. Hit the Q button, go to the stockpile. I'm going to hit S to change the settings of the stockpile, and this shows you what items are stored in the stockpile. Right now finished goods is highlighted. And I'm going to go into type. I'm using the arrow keys by the way, not the plus and minus in this particular menu. Uh, and I'm going to go to type. I'm going to hit forbid finished goods. So everything's unselected. And that's the F key. And after I hit the F key, I'm going to scroll down in the list. Actually, it's the third one from the top. And I'm just doing goblets because goblets are something you can make and trade pretty easily and make a lot of profit trading off to the caravans. And it's something, since it's stone, it's something the elves will buy. So I'm going to press enter to highlight goblets. So this stockpile now will only hold goblets and of type. Uh, these parts I'm not going to mess with. This basically means what it's made out of. Like if I have a clay versus a, uh, you know, a glass goblet, I could specify only glass goblets made of earthenware or rock solid or clay stone. Personally, I don't care. I want. I just want goblets. It doesn't matter if it's made of metal or well crafted or. I could only put. You know, I could specify only masterwork. Um, items which when your dwarves make something if they're really skilled they'll make masterwork items uh, which are very high quality uh, and you want that especially over time your dwarves will train up when they keep on building items so eventually I'll be making masterwork goblets but I don't care we'll, we'll be selling them all off and I'm gonna go over first I'm going to go to you and I'm going to Take my stone worker. He's drinking right now. He's being lazy and not working. I'm going to hit the. So I remember this particular character's job. 
I'm going to show you a trick where you can actually name the dwarf so you can remember what dwarf is doing what task. And this is how I do this without Dwarf Therapist, the add-on to manage jobs. I'm going to hit the view V for view. And I'm going to hit the Y to customize. And then letter N to custom nickname. I'm going to call him Stonecraft. I'm going to press Enter. Hit the Escape escape and now every time I look in the list this guy's named Stonecraft so I'm gonna change his jobs now by hitting C and I am going to undo his hauling and actually I am going to undo his masonry jobs uh, crafting is not masonry um, they're two different types of jobs and so you think they'd be the same, but they're not. <laughs> so I'm going to use the plus and minus key to get down to crafts here. And I'm going to have him do specifically stone crafting because he's going to be making goblets. You're going to churn out goblets to uh, sell the trading depot. So I'm hit the escape key. And I am going to hit the Q button. We're in building mode. And I'm going to go to the crafts doors workshop. I'm going to get the A button, and I hit to add an item, and it's already on default on Rockwood. We can choose plus and minus to move up and down this list. We're going to choose Rock, and we're going to use the Rock Mug, which is basically a goblet. So I hit Rock Mug, press Enter, and right now it only make one mug. But we want them to turn out as many as possible. So I'm going to hit the R button on the keyboard to repeat task. And from here on out, they're going to, as long as they have materials to make mugs, they're going to be making mugs and putting them in the stockpile. So I'm hit the escape button. And you notice that dwarf was sleeping down there. When you see the flashing Z, it means they're sleeping. We probably want to make some beds at this point. So I'm going to make some beds. Um, hit the Q button. Going building mode again, so they built the carpenters. I'm going to hit the add button. And I'm going to make, using the plus and minus sign to scroll up and down this list, there's a construct bed. I actually use the hotkeys B, so that's not too hard to remember. Hit the enter button, A to add, enter, A to add again, enter, A, enter, A, enter. So we're going to build about five beds. And I press the escape. And I wonder what, why they haven't built the trade depot yet. So I'm hit the Q. I need the architecture. Um, the U button. Hold on one second. I'm hit the. I'm gonna hit the U button. Go to this menu. Hit C go in the profession menu see so have you didn't have architecture turned on so I'm just gonna turn that on all you gonna well let me make sure I did that I hit shift enter that turns the whole category on and off I'm gonna go back in there and do architecture we're not gonna do alchemy or Kevin clean don't need need him to clean um I'm going to also turn on stone detailing because could, that could be a useful job. Alright, I hit Z to find out what month we're in, late summer. Um, so after they deconstructs those tables. What is our miner doing, anyways? Oh, there he goes. They're still working. He just knocked down one. Is he going back to break? No, they're drinking, thirsty bastards. All right. Miners are useless. I should have a third miner, as I mentioned. All right. So they're making making items. And I'm going to go ahead and see if they made a bed already. Yeah, I made one bed. So let's get a bed so they can start sleeping. They might get cranky if they don't have a bed to sleep in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bed up in this... Uh, room up here so I'm going to B for building and 
And this, I can use the plus sign to go to bed. Otherwise, I can get B to make bed. And I am going to place it in this corner here. It choose, doesn't choose which bed we want. We can use plus or minus, select one. And this is just which version of wood it made it with. So um, there's alder trees, highwood trees. Uh, just, I don't know, it's just the tree that it was made with. And we're going to hit B again, make another bed, press enter, enter, and then escape, escape, oops, too many times. And somebody with furniture hauling skill will probably take the bed out of the workshop and place it up here. And you can see on occasion that one guy, he's got the wheelbarrow moving rocks around. All right. I still need that trading depot. Oh, you can see him placing mugs in the, the uh, stockpile. And there he goes, runs the bed up there, so they have a place to display. Now, to make a bedroom, and start out with, you, you want to have what they call a dormitory. So I'm going to hit the Q to go in the building uh, view mode. And I'm going to go to this bed here. It's blinking. I have an R to make bedroom. Yeah, I probably should have a door to make that not a I don't know I'll, I'll mess with that in a bit build a door to make it but for right now I'm just gonna put in that area I use the plus and minus sign to actually all right you hit the R button to get in that mode and then you hit the minus and the plus sign to kind of resize the area I didn't do a good job here we'll have to add a door there so it doesn't include the hallway and I hit enter and once that's done, I'm going to hit uh, D for dormitory. And this means anyone randomly can go and sleep there if they want. So I'm going to hit the escape key. While we're at that, let me hit the Z key to see how much liquor we have left. Because they, they seem to be drinking a lot. Z. Oh, crap. I seem to be low on... I think I took my time, <laughs> and we might be banding and restarting this. Uh, I kind of squandered away my time there. Um, yeah, we need to get the chickens up and running. And so before we do mugs, I'm going to add, hit Q to go into building mode, go in the craft war shop, hit the add, do rock nest box nest box nest box add nest box and we're going to hit the P key to promote these to the top so we're going to build the nest boxes four nest boxes and the mugs and one of the reasons I'm not completely worried about everyone dying because I'm a horrible person and I can always redo the fort. You can reclaim the fort unless there's something like in the fort that's really bad, like an, uh, like a uh, forgotten beast got in your fort. Uh, when you come back to it, it might still be there. But uh, if you just die off, uh, the only thing you have to worry about is cleaning up the bodies. <laughs> that's a horrible thing to do, but um, that happens on occasion. All right. Um, while we're at this, uh, why is the miner not digging? He wants to store item in stockpile. Let me turn off the, um, hit the C button to go in the one mode. And I'm going to turn off hauling for both the miners. Escape. U button. This miner. C. Turn off his hauling. Make sure he mines. Should have brought more food. The more I think about it, this is a horrible first guide tutorial. But this is showing what happens when you mess up. So I guess that's good because everybody messes up the first time. Um, I kind of forgot about. I should have put the eggs in there and we and have them making eggs to eat. And I think rats have been eating our food. I got a lot of seeds. All right, so they're building in there. All right, we're almost done with that room. I, I need to move the food inside. What little is left of the food. 
Oh, come on. Just make, yeah, just make that one last spot. We're good. All right. I want to make a food stockpile. I'll hit the P button. And F for food. And hit enter to select a corner. Enter in the other one. Now we got a food stockpile indoors away from vermin and other items that uh, other animals that might be eating it. All right. Um, have we got the nest boxes yet? Hit T to view. Yeah, we got three nest boxes. All right. So in this room down here, we're going to hit B to build. Uh, nest box is capital N. Enter. One nest box there. I'm going to use the arrow keys to go down to it because it's quicker this way. Just pressing enter. Place. Enter. Place. Enter. Enter. And we're out of nest boxes. All right. Uh, so we need to actually bring the chickens inside. Hopefully they're still... Are they still alive? I'm at the U button. Nobody's dead or missing. Our hens are still alive. So we need some chicken eggs. So we need to actually make a pasture so that chickens come inside and, and use that area. So I'm at the I button to create a zone on the main menu. So hit I and press enter at the top corner enter at the bottom and I'm gonna hit N for pen or pasture this is for animals and once you press N you hit capital N to set pen and pasture information and we're going to be making use the plus and minus key to go up and down Plus there, plus there, plus there, plus there, plus there. And we're... We need the rooster as well. Plus, or enter there. Alright, hit the escape key when done. And they should be bringing the chickens inside to actually roost in the next box. Well, we're there. Let me think of what else I need to do. I need to make a, a stone block. Actually, I need to make another finished goods bin first. I'm going to hit the P button. And I'm going to do a G for finished goods stockpile. Down here, press enter here. And enter here. Actually, we need to make one more zone, but... We'll get to that in a second. So I press the escape key, hit Q to go in the building mode, building view mode, hit the S key to change settings. And I'm going to go into finish goods, and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect goblets because we have the one near the um, trading depot. We don't, we don't want to, you know, have goblets down here. We have them all up there. So I'm going to hit enter that unhighlights goblets and hit the escape mode to go out of there and I'm at the D key here I want to make some more mine area let's see we had 12 didn't we so that was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and hopefully I got that right and so I want another stockpile even it's kind of far away though but I don't care Doors can walk. All right. Another thing I need to build is that well. So I need to build a stone block. So I'm hit the Q button, escape button to go out of the build menu. Q button to go into building mode. And I'm going to go ahead in Mason's workshop and hit add a new task. Hit down. And we're going to make a rock block. And we're going to hit the select that, press enter, and I hit the P button to promote that using the plus and minus to select which one I want to promote. And it escapes. So the next thing he's built is going to be a stone block. Oh, and you can see our chickens are actually moving into the pen and they're claiming nest boxes. You can tell if a nest box is claimed by hitting the Q button 
and going over the next box. That one hasn't been constructed, and you can, oh, this one has been claimed by a stray hen, which means they'll be laying eggs in that shortly, and we won't be starving to death. And in the meantime, till we start making plump helmets, um, they can drink water. So far, I don't think there's anything out there that's going to kill them, and we don't have to worry about uh, going outside to get a drink of water, because dwarves, they're not completely stupid. They will, if there's water, go drink it out of the river, uh, unless all the sponge men, you know, kill them. Let me hit Z key again to see our stocks. We got three drinks left, so we'll see fairly shortly if the dwarves um, start getting killed by the sponge men when they go to drink. All right. Um, well, we need to build our kitchen area, and I tend to build the. Uh, the food stockpile over here. I build that next to the, the dining hall. And for now I'm going to build the dining hall in the bedroom. Doors do complain if they, there's noise while they sleep in the same room uh, Not that doesn't have a door blocking it off. So I'm going to hit the... Um, but there's a reason you want to do that when you start off. It's called vampires. Uh, you want somebody to oh, see that dwarf going sleeping in there. Two dwarfs sleeping in the same bed. I wonder if I hope they're married. Uh, yeah, they're having dwarf you know what um, anyways sometimes vampires will always attack somebody while sleeping if there's no one around to see it you can't catch the vampire if there's somebody in the room at the same time uh, generally they'll catch the vampire um, and we're gonna hit the uh, alright let's hit the B key um, to build uh, T for table and go up here press enter we got five tables, so enter, T for table, enter, 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 enter. And we're placing the tables that we built. And we need chairs, which I believe is C for, it's for throne, but it's for chair or throne. So I put a chair here, C again, chair here, chair here. And it looks like they haven't finished building all the chairs, but. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 they haven't finished that next stuck pile. And though they finished, somebody was smart and finished the uh, trading depot. So luckily, we'll have um, something to trade. Let me, what, what, let me see what types of these cups we've got. One is a schist. Schist. I don't know why they're different colors. Maybe because they're different quality types. So there we go. All right, and when the when the chickens lay the eggs, dwarves will actually go and uh, put them in the food stockpile. Fortunately, it looks like I got some flies attacking the uh, food. Not much we can do about that. Um, you have to have it in containers. We'll build containers in a little bit. Uh, let me see if my carpenter's doing anything at you. He's drinking. Uh, I don't really care too much about worrying about the storage capacity um, they, they will eventually have enough barrels over time see that dwarf he pulled an egg out of the uh, chicken sink so we have things to eat actually we need to build a kitchen um, and this goes do we have a I'm going to make somebody a cook. I've got a potter. I, I never use potters. I think that was the um, that was the one. Actually, we must have got two two um, uh, migrants uh, that came in. So we got a potter. I, I really I don't know. I mean, I never use pottery because you can just make stone everything without having to cook it, bake it, pull it out of clay. Um, I think I'm going to use him as a cook. Before we do that, there's something important. We don't want to cook plump helmets. I'm going to hit the Z key. And I'm going to go to kitchen. And of course, we don't want any plump helmets, so we can't undo the menu. Remind me of slider. You want to set it so you're not cooking plump helmets. Um, because that's specifically for... Um, I guess alcohol use and not um, 
you don't want to cook that because it kills the seeds and you don't and you want to have your plump helmet safe for alcohol because you need a lot of alcohol at the end of the day uh, versus uh, food they can eat eggs uh, I'm gonna build a kitchen here so I'm gonna hit the B cut button hit W and I'm gonna plus and minus to kitchen enter Go up. I'm going to put it up here uh, and press enter. Use shell to make it. And I'm going to convert that one guy to a the potter to a cook. And the way I do it is that you, oops, all right, it was still in build mode. So hit escape back twice and third time there. And hit you. And I'm going to go to this potter. And I'm going to nickname him a cook. I'm going to hit the, uh, uh, Hit the V button is victory. And then go to Y, nickname, and I'll name him Cook. And escape. Why is he fishing? I guess he has an optional option to fish. Um, I'm tempted to almost leave that, but I, I don't actually I I don't want I don't like fishermen. Generally, I convert all my fishermen to uh uh military just because they tend to die outside. And I'm going to get the C button to view him. I'm going to turn off his hauling. We're going to f turn off fishing. I hit the shift enter to make it all shift enter again to deselect it. I'm going to farming and huh. He had cooking and beekeeping turned on. That's weird. Don't have any cows, so we're not going to milk. Alright. Escape. And he should. Well, when he's done fishing, he'll he'll get to that. And hopefully he'll start cooking some eggs. All right. While we're at it, we need to get that well built. Uh, actually, we need to make that other stockpile before we make that well. So I'm gonna hit the P button. And we're gonna make a general stockpile because y you can make a dozen stockpiles and it all just takes too much time to have so many different stockpiles. I'm going to make a universal stockpile down here. So what I'm going to do is start it out with, so I'm going to hit U for furniture. Because uh, we'll start out with a furniture stockpile. Press enter here and enter down there. All right, hit the escape key, then hit Q to go in the building mode. Select that. I'm going to hit the S key and I'm going to go down to we don't want corpses, we don't want refuse, we don't want stone, we want ammo. I hit the E to enable. I never have coins, but I'm going to enable anyway. Enable blocks, enable gems. Don't want finished goods, uh, leather, cloth, weapons and trap components, and armor. So basically anything else that wasn't in a general stockpile will be put down here. Um, Actually, I'm going to build one more nest box here. Hit the capital N. We don't have a nest box. So we want the five hens, the five eggs, the one, two, three, four. So we need to make one more. Hit the Q button. Go into building mode. Go down here. I'm going to hit the add. Go to rock. And we're going to do rock nest box. Pressing enter to get into that. And then I'm going to promote that one nest box to the top. So we've got a completely complete. Um, nest box. All right. Before we continue, I'm going to check out a random dwarf. See what our needs are right now. Hit select this door. Id Ankechel, Ankechel Carpenter. Press Enter. Enter. She's been quite content. Slept without a proper room recently. Slept in the dirt recently, which is probably not a bad thing. They, they'll complain about that lately. Has complained about the lack of chairs. So they haven't built the chairs yet. And has talked with a friend. They they make friends. And they that can be good and bad. Uh, makes them happy, but if their friend dies, they can go, you know, have throw a temper tantrum when their friend dies. Uh, she was caught in the rain recently. Has been tired of drinking the same old booze lately. Um, all right, I'm gonna escape out of that. All right, so we've got uh, a little bit of mugs being made here. You know, normally it actually puts it well. The, it when we build the uh, 
Normally it does it from left to right. I'm not entirely sure why it's not uh, putting the cups in the right thing, but I guess that's normal for this new version. And the older versions, at least the ones I had, usually it'll put from left to right. Maybe just because of the pathing of the way it's closest to the the uh, where it's creating the mugs. All right. So we got to keep busy here. Uh, I am going to. I need a butcher shop, so I'm going to build one really quick. B. W. Workshop. And we're going to go to plus and minus, up and down, till we get to Warcher Shop. I don't know why they have shop, because the dwarves don't buy things from each other. I'm going to select that, press enter. Ah, crap. Let me hit Q to go into building mode and cancel. I had shell, shell block that I made. It defaulted to that one, and I pressed enter too fast. I'm going to X to remove that. Uh, I, I need that shell block for something else. Um, so I'm hit the B button to build, W. And we're going to go to... I know I just had a butcher shop. And this time I'm going to make sure I actually select shell and not shell blocks. Alright. So they'll make a butcher shop because I, I don't need these water buffalo and I think they eventually starve to death. Uh, they have plenty of grass out there, but once the invasion comes, they're going to die. So I might as well make some meat out of it. Um, they still haven't built the tables yet. Um, these people are lazy. They need to hurry up and do things. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and build that well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and channel out... I mean, the D, 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 D for designation, H to channel. I'm going to channel out this hole here, double tap enter to select that. So it's going to channel out a hole on that spot there. Dwarf will go over and do that. And actually, I need to make one other thing. I need to make a grate. Because you don't want people coming in your fort through the well. So I selected the building again with the queue. And I went to add new task. Press the minus sign and I chose great. Great is something you can build to tunnel uh, like a blocking. Basically it's like bars that let, you know, water through like great in real life. It just lets water through but like a creature can't get through it. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So, oh, they're finally placing the tables. All right, well that's good. Um, actually, is it? I think we can put the other chairs there. B to build. T not table. C for throne. Five tables will be. Five chairs should be enough. Got some shell thrones there. Plus enter to select that. Hopefully I'm not going to repeat myself for every little thing, but it, I, I know it's complicated, but just look at the menu. Look for the letters and just, and use the letters, and that should help out with that. I'm going to hit the Q button to see if it's finished the nest box. Yeah, it's finished the nest box. So I'm going to build, hit B for build, uh, capital N for nest box. That's one, two, three, four, five. I like to put spaces in between. I don't want the nest boxes on top of each other. I think the animals get angry if they're stuck together too close. Uh, escape. So now we got five hens producing, you know, five amounts of eggs. And I'm going to go up to my kitchen here, hitting the Q button to go into building mode. I'm at the add task. I'm going to prepare easy meal. Press enter, press the R key to repeat that task. So it will keep on making um, uh, mills as the time progresses and escape. Get out of there. All right. Now, what 
we need to do while we're waiting? Alright, we're making mugs to trade. Looks like they just made the grate. And let's place that grate. Looks like he's dug his hole. You can tell if it's a hole if you hit the K key and move your cursor over it. It says open space. That's a hole. I'm going to go down, hit the down level, hit the B button, and use the greater than or less signs to get to that up and down, and hit the B button. And you can, when you make this, you can do two things. You can do a floor grate or a wall grate. We want a wall grate. Uh, floor grate is in case you want a grate on the floor, like have a, the hole going down into like a sewer, um, and, but you don't want things coming up. Uh, but we want this in the hallway, so we're going to do a wall grate. So it's it's a wall. And I'm going to place that there. One shell grate coming up. Escape. We'll wait for them to finish. Got a lot of vermin the cats have killed. Oh, uh, great. We got more migrants. And where are they coming from? You know, we don't have a lot of food. Hopefully we'll get a farmer. If we get a farmer and I will... Oh, they're going off the map. There they go. We got a whole bunch of... Let's see at the U button see how many we got. Uh, we got a whole bunch. All right, we got a farmer. So actually, I, I this is a good time to actually show you... Eventually, if you don't start with a farmer, you'll get one. You'll probably get a whole bunch of them. Um, we want to start planting seeds and actually making food um, and actually growing our own food to make alcohol um, meat w and uh, meat with the food the other food we just primarily eat eggs <laughs> I tell you the truth you can keep on you can live off eggs or meat killing chickens it's not necessary in my opinion to eat plump helmets um, but you can if you want uh, it's always a fallback if you run out of meat so let's go ahead and get started with a farm um, Hopefully we didn't get a vampire in there, but we'll find out as soon as somebody, while they're eating, spies somebody uh, in the bed. Do I have any more beds? Hit B for bed, B again for bed. B, B for build, B for bed. Yeah, we got three more beds being placed here. While we're at it, I'm going to tell the mason, hit the Q button to go into build mode and select the mason shop. Hit the add. I want to build bunch of doors. He's not doing anything so he just let's build about 10 doors because we want to seal off different areas. Alright, uh, there comes the... I don't think they brought any food. Um, what if we can see? Let me, che let me check my stocks and see how many eggs we got. We got 50 eggs and 50 things. We'll, we'll be able to live off eggs in my opinion for a while. Uh, prepared meals. Let me see what we got for prepared meals. Uh, won't let me view. Let me have K to see what we got on our stockpile. That's raw pond turtle. I guess you can cook that. Eggs. Hen eggs. We got a bunch of hen eggs. And we probably want to do something this season. Let, let's get started with making our farm. So I'm going to go down a level and this looks like a good spot. So I'm going to D to dig, D to mine, D for destination, D for mine. And I am going to dig this whole area out. Get the escape. Get out of that menu. And hopefully, see, I in this area, this is clay. You can grow stuff in clay. And the old versions, you had to actually irrigate the, the clay, but in the, the new versions, they've kind of done away with that. If you have only stone locations, you can make muddy water and make farms inside that way. Um, but it, it's not necessary. All right. And it's... I'll wait for them to finish digging out that uh, farm area. We get two to go back. Is my cook actually cooking eggs? Because I, I think... No, he's just drinking. He's a horrible, horrible... 
horrible cook. He's not cooking any eggs. I think they can eat eggs raw, but I don't think I I, I can't. I, don't quote me on that. And you actually don't need wood to cook things. It's kind of strange. You think this thing is so micromanaged that you need um, you would need um, to actually cook uh, something with wood because you do have to have wood or to make charcoal to make smelt uh, you know smelt iron and metals and things like that. But um, generally, you don't have to have that if you're creating um, if you're actually you know cooking something I don't know it's just something weird I think but I'd hate it <laughs> personally it'd be a pain if you had to use wood to cook stuff with because you cook so much oh forgot to make that well uh, since we dug out that channel I'm gonna hit um, D to my or D for designation and H to channel my channel two squares here next to the river and that should oh hold on my dwarf is retarded he sealed himself in um, let me back out of here you have to keep an eye on dwarves because they will do that um, D for designation for designation. I'm hit uh, extra move designation. We don't want to flood them just yet. Oh, God damn dwarves. How do I get them out of here? I know how. I'm going to dig this one this way and then make a uh, downward oh I can channel channel makes the downward down ramp so we're make a downward ramp there and dig it so that do poor dwarf can get out of that and then I'll just cover it up with a floor hopefully no dwarf will go down there while he's covering it up with a floor um, they they tend to do that I don't know why uh, they build in a certain direction they do left to right, and they love to b wall themselves in and die like in The Sims, where they're starving and and you, whatever. So it's kind of those dwarves they make you angry. <laughs> and it's sometimes funny the way they do it. All right. he goes to dig that hole he gets out oh I dug in the wrong spot that that doesn't matter though um, it be to build C for construction uh, F for floor we'll just use the shell right there Oh, we got a hunter. He's actually hunting stuff. They'll do that. So my cook's on break. He's so lazy. He, ah, what a horrible, horrible cook. Are we ever get this well built? I mean, I'm just seeing if we. I'm hitting the U button to see if we actually. Mason's making rock doors. Um, how many doors we got left? Q button. I'm gonna cancel those two doors. We. I'm going to have him build the floor. We don't need all those doors. While we're at it, I'm going to build the doors on this area here. Hit B uh, to build. D for door. I'm going to place door here. 
and door here, door here, and door here. Probably not necessary, but I'll oh, hit armor stand, hit D for door, not armor stand. All right, so they'll be placing the doors there, and he's going to build that. Uh, no, he's going to be. He's going to drink before he builds anything. All right. How much time we got on to go here? See, this game takes. I really haven't done much, and this game has already sucked up an hour of my time. Um, so you can imagine how long it takes in these mega projects with these huge forts, especially like drilling down to get to the magma. Oh, you can see the dwarves drinking the water now that we're out of booze. Oh, constructing that floor. All right. I'm going to channel out that uh, hole there for D detonation. H to channel. We're going to channel that out now. Is there dwarves down there? Is there? Nope. And we're going to be for build. I want to say W for well, but it's not not the not the option. It's down here. I think it's like I. I don't know why it'd be letter I. I for well. Oh, we need mechanicisms. I forgot. We need to make a mechanics workshop. B for build. W for workshop. We'll make a mechanics workshop over here using schist and we got it alright so let's check on our farm plot are they finished no they're still digging away alright what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna call the video quits for episode 2 and we'll pick up with episode 3 with actually building our farms and hopefully getting started before we uh, complain too much about drinking water so uh, I will see you in the next video you all have a good night